it was certainly up and in, just as the hint says. It's a snowy day, and we got the first one of five caches today on the trail next to the Thames River. Did you bring a pen? I did. <laughs> so did I. Woohoo! Look at all the smiley faces on the log book. Well, this thermos certainly has kept everything nice and dry. Yep. We're pretty close, aren't we? Yep, we're very close. Awesome. <laughs> Yahoo! We got it! The hint didn't make sense at first. It was said opposite side from the trail. We're like, opposite side of what? And then I kind of looked at the where the coordinates were leading to and I saw this big tree. And he figured it out. Figured it out. It's opposite side of the tree from the trail which is over there. And at first I thought maybe it had fallen into the snow and I'm like, uh oh, because you look at all the little holes in here and then I just looked down, kicked it with my foot. Hold this. And there it is. You need this too. There, got it. Well, I just uh, kicked some snow over it. There, good to go. <laughs> the next one is a 4 3, and that's a good rating for a fizzy cache. Oh, yeah, yeah so. that'll help us out a lot. Yeah, but a 4 difficulty in the snow. Ooh, let's see what it is. Come on, good boy. We're really lucky today because there is snowfall, but there's a nice trail blazed for us, and the snow's not too, too deep. Yeah, we've had uh, quite a bit of snow lately, and it's cold today, but at least sunny. And the good thing is that these caches have recently been found, so we know that they're there and they should be in good shape. So, just nice to be able to get out and get some caches close to home. Uh, we're on the Thames Valley Trail, and these caches are by one of our patrons, Norshley. And we thank him for this. Now check the hint. Why about one meter? Oh. Stick up. Stick up? Stick up. Uh, There's uh, a stick up. Uh. Hmm. It's a 4-3, and it uh, says stick up. Well, I would have said it's over there. My coordinates said it's right here. This is one meter. Uh -huh. So I was looking yeah, at this tree be. here, but I don't see it here. So I was just looking around and to see if I could find it. And hey, there it is. Oh, really? It's on a stick and it's up the tree. This is a great find for winter caching. See the tree with a bunch of trunks? Yeah. Look up. Look way uh, uh, uh. up and see right where the oh, leaves are. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. I love those hides. These are cool. So now we just got to retrieve it. Yep. Yeah, if you look up. Up, 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 right there at the end of this pole. Now we just got to get her down. Yeah, it's just on this pole, and uh, we do this a lot in this area. It's, you know, you just put the cache at the end of a stick, and then you shove it way up in the air. It's a cool, cool way to hide a cache. Have you ever found one like that? Put that in the uh, comments below if you have. Tell us all about it. Here, I'll, oh, pull it all the way down. Yeah, I'll bring it down to you. Ready? There you go. <laughs> Delivery! <laughs> hey, there you go. Can you sign us in? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. There you go. Cash delivery service. A really fun one. Yep. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, hey. I don't see it yet. Yeah, me neither. Above your head and thorny. Well, looks like a good spot. It does. It's been recently found good. and by a lot of people too. Oh, but we're not a lot of people. No, we're not. So <laughs> maybe we need to get all those people. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. I don't either. 
Even for closer look. Above my head. So it turns out we were looking 20 meters in the wrong tree, but there's more right here. Found it. Oh, really? Where? Over here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Woohoo. have to look at the right angle. Uh-huh. Yes, you do. Oh, and it is thorny too. Yeah, and above your head and it's thorny. I'm going to let you get this one. Okay. This one. Yeah, it's thorny and above my head because the cache is right. Ow, right, ow, right there. Ouch. Ow, ow. This one's, oh, this one should have a high difficulty rating because it's dangerous. Ow. Got it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we were uh, barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> what are you doing with your mitten? My nose is cold. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> This section of the trail takes you close to, but not right along the Thames River, so we trucked down to take a look. Blake marveled at the sights and was content to be cradled in Karen's arms. The Thames was one of the first rivers to form following the retreat of the Wisconsin Glacier some 11,000 years ago, and the Fertile Valley became the home to people ever since. It was called Askanapipi, the Antlered River, by the natives, La Tranche, or the Trench, by the French, and later the Thames, named by John Grave Simcoe in 1792. The river, 273 kilometers in length, was a transportation corridor and has been witness to many battles. Thames River Valley still appears much as it did over 200 years ago. One more to go. Will it be 5 and 0 oh or 4 and 1? We'll have to see. So far, so good. I see it. Excellent. It's over here. By the road. I gotta get in here. There we go. Cash found. Got it. Five out of five. Well, that was an awesome trek and we're glad you joined us. Now it's time for some hot chocolate to Ooh. warm up. Yeah, I could use some hot chocolate. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Yeah, keep watching. There's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take you? We want to take this opportunity to welcome aboard another patron to Cache Canada. Wet Coaster from BC. Yeah, it's really great to have him uh, join the family. And if you're interested, go to patreon.com slash Cache Canada. Check out all the tiers. We'd love to have you join us.